Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, a lot going on at Castle Customs today, as always. Um, you can see in the background here, I've got the headlights tore out of the car. I've got a new set I'm putting in. I was gonna go ahead and restore the original ones, but time and effort, I mean, a whole new set of headlights for this car is like 130 bucks, so I don't even know if it's worth my time to restore those original ones. Anyway, that's the story for another time. What today's video is about is clutch cables, specifically adjustable ones. So you can see down here, actually I got my little helper here, Sadie Bug, with me too. Hi. <laughs> so you can see down here, I've got a new, it's a 5.0 Resto clutch cable, and it in itself is actually slightly adjustable. So this is what goes on at the end that goes on your clutch fork, and you can obviously thread that in and out and have a little bit of adjustment. But there's also this firewall adjuster we're going to be putting on there. You don't have one of those stock. And this kit also, this is a full kit. So when you order this, you get the whole works. This is a new quadrant, aluminum quadrant. And it replaces the plastic one in your car. If you haven't changed your quadrant out, clutch quadrant, I highly recommend doing so. I've personally never been left stranded, but I know people that have been. Because if that thing lets go on you, essentially you got no clutch pedal. So you gotta start your car in whatever gear you can get it in and uh, drive home in that gear. Or if you're real good at shifting without a clutch, maybe you can grab another gear. Anyway, just know and take my word for it, you wanna get that plastic one out of there and get an aluminum one in there stat because uh, that can make a good day, a bad day real fast. So um, there are a lot of videos on how to change these clutch cables out, but I thought, what the heck, I'm doing one, I'd film it and uh, show you guys what's what from my perspective. And it's always good to have a couple different resources. Maybe you catch something in my video that you wouldn't have in other people. So without further ado, guys, I'm gonna get you underneath the car with me and uh, I'm gonna do my best to show you what I'm doing. It's gonna be a little tough, but uh, essentially we're gonna disconnect the clutch cable from the fork underneath. We're gonna work our way up. Um, there's the bracket here that goes uh, attaches to the inside of the, almost like the wheel well area. Um, and then we'll get inside the cab and disconnect the cable from there, put the new one in, whatever. Anyway, follow along guys, I'll get you under the car with me. All right guys, first things first here. So we're down at the bell housing. And on the side here is this dust cover. It's got a 5 16 kind of bolt screw holding it on. Now these dust covers can be a little bit of a pain in the butt to get off, especially if yours has never been off, but they slide back and then there's a, there's kind of a clip that goes into the top of the bell housing that you gotta wiggle off. As you can see, mine's being a bit of a pain. Sorry about that guys, just had to get a screwdriver. Um, so what's going on here is this clip is just kinda tied up against my clutch fork. So I'm just gonna pry my clutch fork in a bit. There we go. So yeah, this is the clip I'm talking about. It, whatever, just kind of gets hung up in there sometimes, but yeah, it hooks into the bell housing. Anyway, pop that guy off. And then we've got to disconnect our clutch cable. So again, I'm gonna pry back a little bit on here. We'll get this guy out of the clutch fork. And then there's a clip right here. Let's see if I can get you up there and show you. There's a clip that holds your clutch cable into the bell housing. You gotta pry that out. I don't have the proper screwdriver here for doing that, but let's just see if we can get it. Oh, look at that. Okay. 
Okay, there's your clip that holds your clutch cable into your bell housing and then it just pulls out. So from here you want to kind of fiddle this out and through your K-member and then we'll get up top and we're going to undo this cable. There's a, a hole down on the fender. Okay guys we're back up top here um, under the hood. Now what we need to do is disconnect. Well, we got to undo this 5 16 bolt here, okay? Um, this is what holds the, you can see the, the bracket for your clutch cable. And your clutch cable carries on. Um, sorry, I'm out of hands here. Carries on and goes into the firewall right there. You can see that sort of yellowy white piece. So. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this while I'm filming, but anyway, we're going to <coughs> pull this bolt. It's kind of a screw, threaded screw bolt out of here, and that will uh, essentially get us to the point where we can get inside the cab and disconnect this cable from the uh, quadrant in there, and then we can pull it out. Okay guys, here's a good look at the clutch cable pulled out. So this is what goes to your fork. And in comparison to the new one, I'll show you here real quick, you can see there's no adjustability whatsoever on this. This is what I was referring to earlier. So you've got this whole threaded portion that you can actually adjust your pedal a bit. And then, like I said, the added benefit of this guy is you can adjust it that much more so um, and this is the portion that the clip goes into in the side of your bell housing and this is the bracket I was referring to that this little bolt holds to the inside of your um, well it's right above the K member there so anyway um, so that's that now um, in order to get this guy out of here, so you can see that's where it goes into the firewall, but you unhook the cable from the inside of the cab. So I'm going to take you in there next from the quadrant, and then you can pull this whole cable out of there. All right, just quick here, guys, before I get you in here, um, we're going up and underneath essentially by the um, accelerator pedal. I have the added benefit of the seat being out because I've been working on the interior of this car and I restored the carpet anyway um, having your seat out makes it a little easier because you essentially need to be on your back working up under there and it's pretty tight um, I've done it with the seat in but I mean you got your ankles around your ears it's a bit of a gong show anyway um, seat out I'll kind of get you positioned in there with me and I'm gonna kind of lay up and work underneath and hopefully give you a decent view of what I got to do all right guys so um i'm squished in here like a pretzel but and i don't even know if i can point to this but this is the plastic clutch quadrant that we need to get at and where we are here is um geez i don't know how much you can see here here's the gas pedal brake clutch so we're on the the accelerator pedal side 
and yeah this is what we need to remove and what we need to disconnect the clutch cable from again I'll try to get you in there so you can see um, yeah I, I don't even know if I can point but the clutch cable is attached to the end of that um, quadrant I'm gonna unhook it from there I won't be able to show you me unhooking it but anyway unhook it from there and then I'll pull it through from the engine side uh, off the firewall all right guys um, there's a pretty good look of it disconnected you can see how it just comes over the top of that quadrant and hooks in place so essentially you just pull back on it a little bit unhook it and it's loose right so now that we're disconnected underneath the dash we've got a little quarter inch bolt right there that we've got to undo so that we can pull this guy out so stand by I'm gonna unscrew this bolt and then we'll pull the uh, pull the clutch cable out Okay guys, clutch cable is out. You might even be able to see some daylight through the firewall up there. Now we gotta get this quadrant out of here. So what you gotta do to pull the quadrant out is there's these clips. One here and one back here. I hope you can see that. But uh, anyway, so get yourself some needle nose pliers and pop these clips out and then this quadrant will just pop off of these shafts all right guys so this gives you a better uh, vantage point of what i was trying to show you underneath the dash there so this is the stock quadrant and all these teeth in here these are the adjustability well this is what ford gives you as adjustability um, if any of you have ever gone out and pulled back on your uh, clutch pedal, essentially this whole paw system adjusts for um, a wearing clutch, right? And gives you the same pedal feel, or at least that's the theory behind it. Anyway, as I mentioned earlier, the weak point is, well, this is all plastic. Now, it is hard plastic and uh full disclosure when you're removing these this guy comes off not bad it, it it varies from car to car this piece comes off not bad this can be a little bit of a bear and um it as you're trying to bump this off the shaft it can get hung up on some bracing underneath your your dash there but and in my case that's what happened this little guy took me i hate to admit it but better part of an hour so anyway this is what ford designed originally for adjusting your clutch and making it so that it was nice and easy to use and you didn't have to do any wrenching on your car essentially you just pull on your pedal and it self adjusts but again this is the point that breaks so this is why you go to one of these aluminum doesn't break and now it replaces this whole system as you can kind of see and then the adjustability is up to you either with one of these firewall adjusters which I'll show you me putting it in or down here at the clutch fork you can adjust here as well now the firewall is a lot more it's a lot more user friendly you can just adjust it uh, not get yourself dirty you don't have to lay under the car here you're laying under the car and you're getting behind that dust cover that I showed you on the bell housing so anyway just wanted to give you a quick little look at um how these parts look so when you're underneath your dash trying to change yours out you've got an idea of what you're looking for so all right guys so new quadrants in um 
Jeez, it's... You'll appreciate how tight it is under here if you're watching this video going, man, I can't see much. Like, it's... Yeah, you you pretty much need to be a contortionist to get in here, but... Um, yeah, you can kind of see it in there. This is the new aluminum piece. Um, I'm hoping I can edit this to the point to show you that I actually put... These weren't supplied in the kit, but I put some washers on the shaft, both here and at the back. So, and I should also mention the kit comes with a bit of a sleeve that you put on this front shaft just to make the whole quadrant square in there. So sleeve on this front shaft that the quadrant came off of, not the back one where the paw came off of, but the front one. And then I've put the quadrant on. Um, you kind of have to put your clutch pedal all the way to the top in order to get that quadrant on the back shaft. Put it on the back shaft and then the front. And then I've put, you can see those brass colored washers, at least I hope you can. Just to, like I say, the kit didn't come with them, but I put them on there because there was a pretty good space and I wanted this clutch quadrant to sit square and I don't want to hear any rattles as I'm driving down the road so um, on the front shaft I put one washer and then the the cotter pin uh, and on the back I've got one two three four five washers to uh, close that gap up so anyway I hope that gives you a good picture of what's going on in there Okay, so next step is, well, we've got to get our firewall adjuster on. Now, here's a little aside. If you're not running a firewall adjuster, well, that's kind of neat. I didn't realize this went, it's almost got like little tangs in there to give you kind of quarter adjustments. Anyway, um, if you're running the firewall adjuster, you need to remove this black rubber boot and the easiest way to do that you can see there's like four tabs kind of on the north south east west of this thing you got to get rid of those tabs you got to file them off or hit them with a set of side cutters and then this rubber pops off so this is set up you can see it's identical to how the stock one is um, and the stock doesn't have the firewall adjuster so um, if you're not running an adjuster you leave this rubber on if you're running a firewall adjuster you pull it off okay so I'm gonna go and uh, peel mine off I'll show you what it looks like once I've got it off here Okay guys, so now that you've got this off, okay, um, you know I did my best with my side cutters there to get these little tabs off, but you can see you got to remove them completely because, right, this won't go on there. So anyway, I'm going to take a knife and just... Uh, Shave these guys off of here. Nice and clean. Hey buddy, come and say hi. Okay, and then try it. There you go. Nice and tight. Okay, so now I'll get you under the hood with me and we'll throw in the firewall adjuster and then get after hooking our cable up. Right, so now 
here's the adjuster guys and you can kind of see this thing looks like it either goes on one way or many different ways and if you're going to go with the latter of those two options you are correct so this adjuster from what i gather is um, multi-purpose and fits a whole bunch of different years and models so don't get lost in the fact that there's three holes and all these different flat flanges and round flanges anyway pick and choose the one that works the best for you um, in my case i believe this is going to go on the car like so so this flat spot uh, let's see if i can get you in there is going to go up against there's like a a crease in the uh, in the firewall there and this flat section is going to go up against there and then I'll run a screw through here into the the hole that Ford gave you and tighten her down oh and I mentioned earlier that this thing's got like almost a a quarter inch ratcheting type system to it well as it turns out there's a little set screw in here with a spring and a ball and that's what catches in these little uh, channels or grooves you can see in the threads kind of slick but yeah just be forewarned if you go to back this adjuster way out which I was going to do to install the little um, ball and spring are gonna come flying out of there so um, and I don't really this is gonna be really tough to back this all the way out get this uh, little ball bearing and spring back in there and then put the adjuster portion back on so i'm going to try and get it in there like this it's going to be a little tight as you can see i got to get past this to get the screw in here but anyway we're going to give it a run and i think this is going to take a little bit of a love tap with a hammer to to get in it's a pretty tight fit into the firewall i already test fit it so anyway stand by here we'll uh i'll try and show you guys how i install this here Tight fit. There it is. So I'm just gonna run one of those screws in, which being as tight as it is, I don't know that a person really needs to run one in there, but uh, I will just to be safe. Here's the screws they give you. I mean, I guess it is what it is, but it looks to be more of a wood screw than anything. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll do as they say and see if we can get one in there. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this adjuster all the way in, and the reason being is adjust or out is what is gonna adjust this um, clutch cable uh, tighter. So you wanna run it all the way in before you put your cable in. Quite a bit of adjustment on this guy. Okay, all the way in. I'm gonna take my cable, and we're gonna fish this through, and go and hook it up on the other side. So yeah, you just kinda wanna drape this guy in to where it's gonna be. Well, yeah, it might not be a bad idea to do it now. I might not attach this to the to the wheel well here quite yet 
just because I got it's a stiff cable I got a feeling I'm gonna have to uh, get a bunch of movement out of it to get it through the k-member and back over to the transmission but um, what I'll do now is I'll get you in the cab and just uh, we'll hook that the one end of the cable up so then we can get back underneath the car and and hook it up to the clutch fork all right guys so once again back in the uh, tight quarters here you can't really see a whole heck of a lot but what I wanted to show you here um, hopefully is that yeah I don't know how well you're gonna see it there but um, I've put the cable on the second of the two notches that are available to me the second being the one closest to the firewall and the reason being is um, you're gonna have all the adjustment you need at your firewall adjuster and or down at your clutch fork so I didn't use the first of the forks that are available to you because there's two I use the second one so you can see my just see the head of the I think you can anyways just see the head of the cable that it's on there right and attached and be careful with it because it's kind of a pain to get on there um, Geez, I hope I didn't knock it off there. But anyway, um, and then get yourself underneath the car and we'll start attaching things down there. Okay, guys, so at this point, yeah, you're just kind of going in reverse order of where you started in that you want to connect your bracket back to the uh, fender apron here. And there's this cable's kind of tight right so you gotta fart around with it a little bit to get it to go um, but it will go okay so there's a decent view of it reattached um, it's kind of tight tolerances to the exhaust manifold here that this is the stock header but um, and then here it is coming down by the K member and through and along by your oil pan and then back to the transmission I'll get you on the other side here and show you how we're attaching everything okay I think you got a pretty good view of this coming in alongside the oil pan here now so now I gotta back this off okay so snake it back through your bell housing and then then we're gonna take our clip that we removed earlier reattach that guy We're almost back on there. Okay. Back in there. Gee. Right now, run this guy through your clutch fork. I'm just gonna pop over there. No, just so what I'm gonna do here guys is just essentially get myself tension on the clutch fork here. And then I'm going to do the rest of my fine tuning up top at the firewall. That way I'm not back and forth underneath the car. And um, yeah, it just makes things a little easier. So I'm going to run this nut in, the initial nut. And there's also a, a half inch nut that you follow afterwards with just to lock it in place. Run this in just so it's tight for my fingers to, to have to tighten it. That should allow enough tension. And then I'm gonna run my locker nut in on top of that and just sandwich them together.
All right, guys, well, that kind of sums things up for me. Um, the only thing I left out, I, I didn't put the dust cover back on the bell housing there. Um, and the reason is I just want to, well, no sense having to take it off again, right? As I go to adjust my pedal and the firewall adjuster and make sure I got the right amount of pedal, um, I just want to be able to roll under there and just make sure everything's good to go. But um, as far as adjusting goes, I don't have the, the driver's seats here so um, I don't have the ability to really get a good feel for the for the pedal but it's not really rocket science I mean the the rule of thumb is you want your pedal grabbing about two to three inches off of the floor um, and that's what you're essentially adjusting for the only thing that I will forewarn you to be careful about is you just don't want too much initial tension and if you got too much initial tension chances are your pedals way too close to the floor Okay, so just keep that in the back of your mind as you're doing your adjustments, but just take your time, you know, take a couple dials on this uh, firewall adjuster and check your pedal and make sure you're good to go. So anyway, guys, um, I hope that helps some of you. Like I said, there's a myriad of videos out there on the web on how to do this. These cars, uh, maybe don't quote me on this, but like, for I think from the late 70s to almost like 2000s early 2000s um, it's the same clutch cable so um, this kit from 50 resto and uh, late model restoration applies to a lot of different cars and I think you probably got the sense of that as I was putting that firewall adjuster in anyway um, yeah hope that helps guys so by all means hit me up questions comments if you're in the middle of one of these projects and you're uh, bumping up against a wall just hit me up let me know I'll get back to you right away and as always, thanks very much for watching. Take care, guys. Bye for now.